Hi guys, I'm Marina. Welcome to Comfort Life channel. This is the channel where you will find health and beauty tips, DIY recipes, as well as very useful tricks. So do make sure you subscribe so you're always up to date when I have a new video out there and definitely say hello in the comments. Today, I have decided to talk to you about the food labels because I think this topic is on the one hand pretty simple, it's just the label just says something, but on the other hand, most of them are really deceiving and that's not good when we buy something, spend our money and we want actually this to be healthy when it's really not. In order for all of us to make informed purchase decisions, I think this video could be helpful. So I will start with the first um, label which is actually so widely used and it makes me a little um, angry when I say it and this is the label natural. So as required by FDA, meat, egg and poultry products are labeled as natural while they should be minimally processed and do not contain any artificial ingredients. Although they do not have any um, standards about our farm practices and it only applies to the processing of meat and egg products. There are no standards or regulations for the labeling of the natural products that do not contain meat or eggs. So this is what FDA says, but the reality is, how can we identify what is minimally processed? Well, we pretty much can't. So for example, a processed product can still be called natural, but it will be minimally processed. So and you will find this on almost every possible thing out there in a food product to attract the customer. So I will be very careful with that and always, you know, check the ingredients or, you know, just try to see what the brand is, if it's a reliable brand even. But natural thing is very deceiving, misleading, so don't really rely on that. Now the next label is organic. So it pretty much means what it says. It means that no synthetic fertilizers, sewage sludge or radiation may be used. Also it means that a food or other agricultural product that has been produced through approved methods that integrate cultural, biological and mechanical practices that first recycling of resources promote ecological balance. Well actually everything is simple with this explanation, right? But sometimes it gets really tricky when you see the labels like 100% organic or made with organic ingredients. So in this case, I would also again advise you to actually read the ingredient list if that's something that, let's say, um, it's not an apple, right? Organic apple, it's pretty simple, right? You just go ahead and buy it. But if there's, there is some food that was made with organic ingredients, whether or not they all were organic, it's for you to decide. You need to read the ingredient list. Another term is humane. Really stay away from everything that says humane. It doesn't even mean anything because there is no standard definition. Humane is simply a vague term, which is, you know, which has been, invent which has been invented to attract the customers. And you will need to do your own research whether, I'm not saying the brand is bad, the one that says humane. If you know this is a reliable and a very good um, respectful brand, go ahead and buy it. But if there is just something you see and you go like humane, it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean that the animals were humanely treated. It doesn't really mean anything. Now talking about the animals, so let's pay attention to the um, eggs, let's say. There are like two options, free range and cage uh, free. So pretty much free range is something that is regulated only for the chicken. It excludes cows and pigs. Uh, it does not really specify anything for the quality of the space that has been provided for the chickens, nor for the amount of time they actually spent there. As long as the birds have some access to the outdoors, this product can already be called free range. So, I mean, it is for you to decide again, but um, this is just so you're not imagining the picture of the chickens um, being there outside for the entire day. It doesn't really mean that. So now what is cage free? Cage free means that the chickens were not locked in the cages and they were allowed to walk freely inside a locked building. And this um, definition again mentions nothing about the quality of the space that they were allowed to be in. Also this technique um, allows malting. Now talking about the meat where it have the grass fed and pasture raised. Of course, when we see a grass-fed uh, label, we think it's a lot better because, you know, com compared to the animals that were fed grains. So to be labeled grass-fed, animals need to eat grass and other greens in their lifetime. So what does the term lifetime actually mean? It means that, however, they are only allowed uh, to uh, be outside and eat the grass only during the growing period, which is about six months. Like in some states, uh, that's, uh, that's the term, six months. Also, the USDA here does not really clearly identify what are the indoor conditions that they are being kept. 
they simply define uh, what the animal may be fed. So now talking about the pasture raised, um, the USDA doesn't really regulate what products have this label on them. So I would say that consumers need to look at the nutrition label and do their own research before buying. Another label that definitely we need to mention here is the hormone free or no added hormones. The FDA luckily gives a pretty clear explanation or identification of what this uh, term is supposed to mean and it goes as hormones are not allowed in raising hogs and poultry. Sometimes the term no hormones administered can also be found on this product. So unless, the, unless there were some um, hormones used, this product cannot be labeled as horm no hormones added. What is the fat-free label means? It means that there is less than 0.5 gram or fat per serving. So it's very important to uh, pay attention to the serving word here. It doesn't mean that there is like less than 0.5 gram in the whole something like can or bottle you buying. It means per serving. Now there are two, three more I have, sugar-free, um, sodium-free. So sodium-free, it means that there is less than five milligrams per serving, but always don't forget to like count your serving so you know the real amount. Sugar-free really means is that um, it's, the same, it's the same thing. Per serving, there should be less than 0.5 grams of sugar, but some of the uh, companies, they're changing their serving sizes so to make sure that they actually follow these recommendations. What is very important to know is that the FDA regulation when saying this does not recognize sugars as sugar substitutes like aspartame or saccharine. So you also need to be aware of that. Also, the last one I want to share with you is 100% juice. Well, this is a very interesting term. 100% juice means that whatever is there has been made from 100% juice, so everything was juiced, right? But it doesn't really necessarily mean that if you're buying 100% pomegranate juice, it will be 100% juice, but they might contain some other juices, not only pomegranate. There was actually a Supreme Court case, Palm Wonderful um, versus Coca-Cola, when they were selling pomegranate blueberry juice, like labeled 100% juice, but in fact, it contained only 0.3% of our pomegranate juice, I believe, and 0.2% of uh, blueberry juice, right? Well, technically, it's all 100% juice, but it was only made from cheaper ingredients like apples or grapes. So I, I, this way, they were actually violating another act that um, it says that whatever statement on your product you, you say, you cannot give false or misleading information. Another one um, talking about sugar is no sugar added. It means that, well, why diabetics uh, can um, rely on the products with this label, it doesn't mean sugar, like zero sugar. Because sometimes if there is milk, like there are like the sugars that um, occur there naturally as well as some other as well as some other products, but no sugar added means that no sugar was added. So whatever sugars are in there, they're naturally occurring. So guys, these are the labels that we most commonly see um, right now on the products. If you have any other labels that you want to have more information about, just uh, write them in the comments below. I make another video providing you with more information. So I also think that um, this information is extremely important because you know, these are the companies that want to sell their products and we are the consumers, so we will eventually buy them, right? If we see all those beautiful things that are said on it. Well, um, talking about non-GMO verified, um, maybe I'll make another topic on that because they want to make some uh, new regulations on that, which would mean that um, probably it's not really the best bet, you know, if you sometimes choose that instead of organic because it's a little bit more affordable. Bottom line here is that there are tons of different labels on the products and you do need to do your own research because um, blindly trusting um, this type of things is, is not wise and this also concerns supplements um, like really a lot because almost one in four supplements doesn't really contain what the label promises you. So it's also a very important um, topic out there. So guys, I think this video has been informative. Now you know a little bit more about the products that you buy every single day. And uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. I wish you to have smart shopping, really smart shopping that would save the money and improve your health, you know, really improve it. And I wish you to stay very happy, of course, and I'll see you in my next video.